Today we start S2E1 of I'm Alan Partridge. Uh, the title is the the one talented Mr. Allen. That's the uh, title of it. All right. That's All right. I, I want to know if they honored the dead man's contract. I don't know, man. Well, we'll see. Because the, remember, we ended on we ended on him saying goodbye effectively to everyone at the hotel. And <laughs> let's Good. just go in, man. <laughs> Three, two, one. Well, I enjoyed The Hobbit more than River Dance. And I think lots of boys on an island killing a fat boy is not so enjoyable as Gandalf with a long white beard. If you've just joined us, we're talking about who is the best lord. Lord of the Rings, of the Dance, or of the Flies. That's tonight's Hot Topic. Hot Topic. And the votes are closed, and clearly the Rings and the Flies have been roundly trounced by the quick feet of blouse wearing tycoon Michael Flatley, my dear. I don't river dance. Give it to It's 11 p.m. Time for Alan's Love Asylum. Alan's Love Asylum. It's basically sex music. I don't know, man. Maybe he didn't get picked up. Maybe they didn't uh, I, honor it. I don't know, but I just, I just hope the show never ends. Oh my goodness. His intros are possibly the best out of any TV show. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was the cause. Three little birds. I think we'd all like to prey upon. And steal their eggs. <laughs> right, I'm off now. Time to leave you in the very capable hands of Dave Clifton, who's gonna be with you till four eight. M with his nightclub. What you got lined up for us, Dave? Actually, it's ladies' night tonight. Special night. Ooh, maybe a wet t-shirt competition? Oh, you never know. Could be. <laughs> How does that work on radio? <laughs> you can, uh, use your imagination, Alan, actually. And uh, I tell you what, there's uh, rather a lot of ladies in here tonight. Still steady. <laughs> oh, I'm all wet. <laughs> I can uh, hear them. I can't see them. Yeah. I'm off for a mushroom slice at a BP garage. Oh, get me one, chum. All right, uh, let's open the nightclub tonight, folks, with the Joe Boxers. Uh, oh, he, he just wants to tarnish this other guy so yeah, badly. He needs to make himself look better, obviously. I can see him. Can't hear him. Like, you ass. No one can. Seriously. Go to Flavia Frothy Cappuccino's coming right up. You're a gentleman. Oh, look. There's that idiot in the black helmet imp. Is he going to get petrol? No. He's just using the forecourt to turn round. <laughs> he thinks he's Rod Stewart. <laughs> Hey, uh, your road safety video's doing well. What, Crash Bang Wallet? What a video. Aye, aye. We've sold three. It's doing a bit better than your book, like. Yeah. Unfortunately, Michael, we live in a world where people would rather watch clips of idiots driving cars like maniacs into Burks than a book which has been described as, and I quote, lovely stuff. <laughs> Not my words, Michael. The words of Shaken Stevens. Well, you can always seduce the price, like. Well, again? Michael, you're not pushing them hard enough. Pretend I'm a customer and try and sell me the book. Hello? Uh, uh, what, pump number? Three. three. No, it doesn't matter, does it? No, no, it doesn't matter. Matter. Four. 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 Three. No, three. No, it's got the paper hand towels. I like three. Yeah. Three. Would you also like this book? What's it about? Oh, it's about this local fella, what used to be on television, right? But he wasn't very good, so now he's not. <laughs> he went right down, right? And he had a he rock bottom man, and now he's on his way back up, right? Yeah. But he'll never get back to where he was, because them days is over, like. Yeah. But uh, he, he's, he's coming back a bit. Well, I don't read that. That sounds depressing. You just saw the petrol, then? Your sales technique is awful. And your low on body line brushable joint sealer. Oh, why we are. Captain Partridge, would you look after the fort while I gun on a resupply mission? Yeah. <laughs> you work in a petrol station, Michael. It's not the Gulf War. <laughs> Ironically, it's like a large petrol station. So I'm i I'm guessing he didn't get picked up. I'm guessing not. Yeah. I'm guessing not. There's no way. So yeah. but you never leave him in charge of any business. No. That's the dude from the hotel. It is the guy from Newcastle that I, I guess he just stopped working at the hotel and now he works at a petrol station. Interesting. Oh, well. Cool. This is not going to go good at all. Mm -mm. Sail away. <laughs> sail away. Sail away. <clears throat> oh, that's oh, right. Sorry, I'm not sending you. <laughs> pump number three. Good pump. F. Raphael. That's funny. I used to have a teacher at school called uh, Frank Raphael. Sweaty Raphael, we used to call him. Oh. Great big sweating stains under his armpits. I've just realised it's you. How the devil are you? Alan Partridge. The very same. So what are you up to now? I'm still at the old school, but well, I'm the headmaster now. Good call. Yes, I, I remember you. Didn't you used to be on the television? 
I got out of that. Uh, yeah, unpleasant people. Bitter bastards. Yes, in education authorities, you find quite a few of those as well. I think every profession has its... Uh, shit. <laughs> Sorry about the bad language. Actually, I don't have to apologise anymore, do I? Big balls. Fanny <laughs> hair. And a bag of minstrels. Oh. We all sweat, don't we? Mm. I used to sweat like a zoo. And I do mean the smell as well, because although you sweated, you didn't smell. That was another teacher. That was Khaki Raphael. That's you as well. <laughs> Shoot me in the head and that's it <laughs> I remember you, you, you once caned me for having a chalk penis drawn on the back of my blazer. <laughs> oh, well, that was a long time ago, Alan. That's what Nazi war criminals say. <laughs> well, you know, I bumped into another old boy recently, Tony Spillane. He came and gave a talk to our sixth formers. You realise there's no way I could have drawn a chalk penis on my back? <laughs> Ask yourself two questions. How and why? <laughs> Well, uh, lovely to see you again, Alan. I could come and give a talk to the pupils. Oh, well, if we need someone to tell the boys and girls about working in a petrol station, I'll be on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Do you think I work in a petrol station? Well, I've just paid you for petrol and a packet of minstrels. No, he, he, this is the man that runs the place. Well, he doesn't run it. He's the work Geordie. <laughs> He, I'm not at his level. He's always been at this level. Because when I was in the army, I used to put yeah. whatever. <laughs> I'm doing much better than him. I left the BBC, formed a production company, that went into liquidation voluntarily. And I was out of work for two years. I was clinically fed up. Boo hoo. W why do I need to know all this? Because I bounced back. People bounce back. Dennis Hopper, Rolf Harris, there are others. Can I get to my car? It's not going to drive off by itself. It's not Herbie. Now, the point is, I now have the third best slot on Radio Norwich, I have a military-based quiz show on cable television called Skirmish, and I've got a girlfriend. Now, and I think your pupils are going to want to know about that. Absolutely. I'll be in touch. If we set it up now, I can press the button to, uh, to let you go. Would you like this book in a box? Now, Michael. All right, then, well, why don't you come and give a talk on uh, Wednesday evening? Michael, face the headmaster. That's one way. I guess that's one way to do it. What did we just watch? I'm pretty uh, sure a hostage situation. I'm yeah. Sure we just to saw the most mild hostage situation. To talk at a old your old school? I don't know, man. I would have nothing to say. Actually, I would love to talk on my old school. Because oh, I would yeah. have some fucking words for those fucks. You and me both, man. It would be they don't want us to at our each other's schools. Nope. No. no. They want the polished what is it? The polished people that have succeeded. No, bitches. You hit every branch after mm -hmm. you get punched in the throat as your last day ends. That's get ready. Right, right. They want the person that became a doctor or a lawyer no. or persevere. A... Life only gives you lemonade. And not talk about all the branches that they hit on the way down. Yep. Get yeah. the doctor with the ghoul debt. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Let's hear from them. Not the person who made a, a living watching videos online. <laughs> Crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. But the point missed here is Alan's doing slightly better now. He's got not only his Radio Norwich show, but also uh, a military quiz show on cable yeah. TV. And a the most shocking is a girlfriend. I want to say a lie. If there's two truths and a lie, that's a lie. It has to be. You Hello there. Would you like a coffee? Yeah, coffee machines of the future, then. Kettles are sad. <laughs> what do you think of the polo neck? Balls out of the bath on this one. I think it's rather snazzy. I think your hair's snazzy. Mm -hmm. Is that your mother's money coming through? Yes. <laughs> All part of the bereavement dividend? Change her sheets every day for 10 years. I don't know how you managed it. She was a bit of a heffalump, God rest her soul. Oh my god. She was a big woman. <laughs> I'm tempted to say she was big hearted, but that would be bullshit. <laughs> and make for the bonquette. Oh, thank you. Thanks for changing the gas bottles. I heard you clinking. What have you got for me? Shoot from your hip. Your new hip. <laughs> You've got a one o'clock meeting with Siobhan from Meteor Productions to talk about Crash Bang Wall at What A Video 2. Do you need me to be there? I don't need you anywhere. <laughs> I'd like to be there. Your problem with Meteor, Lynn, is that you don't like them because they make wet t-shirt videos. It's not hardcore super sex. If you've taken the trouble to watch Boob Olympics, <laughs> as I have, then uh, you'd realise that there is a competitive element. And the money that pays for the black granite work surfaces in the kitchen the brass dimmer switches, your eight grand a year, all comes from Meteor, who happen to produce Boob Olympics 
the Eurovision Thong Contest, and Wet Christmas. Uh, Eurovision Thong Contest. I feel like that would do very well on our channel. Thong con Eurovision Thong Contest? It would. <sighs> I'll be hosting that one alongside the Eurovision Song Contest uh, coverage on my OnlyFans page. Yeah, it's almost the same fucking thing anyway. <laughs> Pretty much. Even though I don't have any other jokes with that one. I'm not going to try. <laughs> Let's piss off everybody. Exactly. Off everybody. We do yeah, that man. already. So yeah. what's what's the point? What's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> also, 8K a year? Oh, yeah. She got underpaid. She's underpaid, underappreciated, massively used, utilized. Yeah. Like Overworked. That's... So it, it makes fucking sense. It's terrible. But yeah. 8K could go further in the 90s or late early 2000s, whatever this is. Uh, but still. It sucks. But then again, you're representing Alan Partridge. So I take back everything I said. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. All right, guys. You all right? Yeah. See the match. Which one? Don't know. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Partridge? Yeah. Do you see what I've done in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Even though it is amusing, there is a serious reason why I'm wearing this, Lynn. Insurance. And uh, no offence, Lynn. Oh, none taken. Well, you don't know what I'm going to say yet. <laughs> I've said what I'm going to say before you decide not to take offence. No offence, Lynn, but your life is technically not worth insuring. Oh, my God. Are we talking about the office area? Because I was going to say that uh, I'd like the office to double as uh, a chill-out room. I don't think you're a raver. I'm not a raver, I'm straight. <laughs> oh, I've got a girlfriend, yeah. yeah. She's, uh, she's only 33. Cash back. <laughs> between, between you and me, there are things I do with Sonia that I would never have done with my ex-wife, Carol. Occasionally, I dust venture south. And uh, when, I, when I go south, I've got to say... What is he doing? But uh, two years ago, I was a mess. I put on weight, I had breasts. Yeah, they were the only ones that you got copped hold of, weren't they, as well? <laughs> <laughs> they were, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I was repellent to women for two years. <laughs> Running along, jogging, and my breasts with, you know, with tassels. You make them go that way, and you make them go that way, but you can't make them go that way. <laughs> Imagine dreaming about that and waking up screaming. <laughs> that's what Hello, Helen. Oh. Hello, builders. What? Oh, my God. See, she's not stopping me. Brilliant story to tell. Last day I was in the coffee shop, where I work, and there was a man came in and he said he wanted coffee. He was a smelly man. Tomek did not like him. Tomek said we didn't have any coffee. <laughs> oh, no. And then the man just went. <laughs> what the shit? I don't quite understand the joke. Drop it then. Is it... This says everything uh, right here. This is. Yep. Right. Cool. Uh, hey, good for him. Good for him. As long as he's happy, that's all that matters. <laughs> the best part is everyone can see through what the fuck is going on. He's <laughs> just like, oh, oh man. Hmm. All right then. So it's, it's a coffee shop, but then one man says to another man, "You can't have a coffee." That that is the story. Believe me. It doesn't make sense, does it? Because I've got a man coming in for a coffee. Uh, Help me out, mate. Very funny story. It is a funny story. I think those stories are best in the caravan. I have a for Why don't we go in there now? <laughs> Grab a Lynn. <laughs> Guess which one of you two ladies I'm going to make love with now. I um, just go on up to the club and, and, and meet that video woman. See you later. Mm. Well, Sonia, let's be appalling. Oh, Lynn, I reckon 40, 45 minutes, how long? About, about that. Yeah. Uh, actually, better make it an hour because I want to have a shower before and ideally afterwards. <laughs> uh, my thing is, close the window. I, I don't get what's going on. So they're living on the property of the house that they are building in a caravan, which is a trailer. Right. So Alan Partridge is trailer trash now. Technic as we say over here. I don't until 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 his house gets built. Technically, that defines him for no. now. Yeah. But I got to be honest, man. I did not see Alan Partridge even having a girlfriend. He seemed like the type that would either be single forever or would have to pay for it. Not not that there's anything wrong with paying for it. But isn't like, that what he's doing? What? Isn't that what she's using him for? That's what I say. I hear that. I, I'm sorry, man. I, that accent is is renowned across the board for having the pay to play vibes. Yep. So I want to put it past Alan. If uh, that is 100% mail order right there. We're offending everybody. 
Well, everyone knows where that comes from. It's it's not a stereotype. Of <laughs> We're gonna get the one the person. Past. Get the one person from that country in the comments. That's like, oh, I hate you. I'm unsubscribing. Later, you won't bye. be missed. <laughs> yeah, bye, dude. Don't let the door uh, hit you on the way out. It sucks, man. Ah, here we go. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. You stay down. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. So I had to have a shower. Got a bit clammy. Oh. How have you been, Ellen? Bloody, bloody good, actually. Yes, his panic attacks have all but stopped. Thanks, Len. Oh, my Game Boy. Hello, excuse me. What's his name? It's Todd. What, Todd? Seriously? Hello, Todd. Hey, snazzy jeans you got on there? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, correct me if I'm wrong, there is a zero tolerance policy on denim in the bar. Yes. There's a chap over there wearing jeans. <laughs> chap of about six. Right. Oh, they're lovely at that age, aren't they? <laughs> they get you on the old jeans rule. Oh. Nazis. Oh, my God. But with excellent facilities, as have the Nazis. Oh. Can we get started? Yes, I have a thought. Now, because the last video was called Crash Bang Wallop What a Video, and this video will feature helicopters chewing these bad prats across fields, I thought perhaps a better title would be Scum on the Run. Are you all right, Lynn? Lynn doesn't like the old water sports. No, well, we don't do that. <laughs> the wet T-shirt thing. Yeah, well, that's not water sports, Helen. What's water sports? You don't know. No, I don't. You mean you don't know what water sports are? I believe we've established that. Well... Tell me what you mean by water sports. Well, it's when people relieve themselves on each other. <laughs> and now it makes sense. Oh, God. I don't know what it says about me that I automatically knew what that was. I don't know, man. I'm just uh, saying now it makes sense to Alan. Now it's sinking in that he's he's part of this. So there's no turning back now. Nope, not at all, man. Mm -mm. Ooh -wee. <laughs> Did you know that there are no Dutch elms left in Britain? Completely wiped out. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Perhaps those people were caught short. They do it on purpose, Lynn. Well, that's a small talk over with. Let's go on with the thorny issue of the fee. But there's no negotiation about the fee. Siobhan, when you hire me, you don't just get some guy who used to be on TV presenting a cheap video. You do get that. But you also get my voice. Let me remind you. Britain has some of the safest roads in Europe. But this isn't Britain. This is the Autobahn. I bring an element of humour. Alan, I'm sorry, I just can't move on the feet now. We love your work. I know, and I love your videos of women in bikinis being hosed down in car parks. Well, it's a little bit more tasteful than that. It's called Titsnade Zoo. Alan, I am not negotiating. Well, you may not be, but I am. Well, then you'll be negotiating on your own. So be it. That doesn't work. Lovely to see you, Lynn. I don't know why you don't just go the whole hog and have me chased down the street by a helicopter in wet underpants. Me, not the helicopter. Although I won't put that past you, so I'm sick I'll probably buy that. A big helicopter in giant underpants. Or a plane in a giant bra having a slash on an airport. Why did you say I had panic attacks? You made it sound like I had a breakdown. You did. You drove up to Dundee in bare feet. Then I know what really happened. Bit of sound mad now. Say I didn't have a breakdown. You didn't have a breakdown. Well, no. So he's may not be doing as well as we thought because those videos are being produced by corn companies. Okay. And there's no negotiation price. So are not negotiation. They're, they're, that's a one-time fee that I guess yeah. they're paying him and he wants more. So, okay. Which would be, I guess, the modern equivalent. Instead of putting your stuff on YouTube, not even, this is even below Rumble. It's like putting it on OnlyFans, which... By the way, side note, the only reason when we were back when we were forming this membership thing, the difference between Patreon and OnlyFans is that fans, you don't have to have a third party to stream with. And also they allow NSFW content. So that's really uh, the only difference between Patreon and OnlyFans. Cool, man. 
Nobody needed to know that, but nope. I figured we were on the same wavelength as Corn, <laughs> so that's why I had to good, that. good PSA for all of you out there. All you future content creators. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Come on. You expect that kind of stuff from me. Come well, that's on. what I'm saying. That's what, a good PSA. Good PSA. <laughs> yep. Stop All right. It. Oh, God. Don't. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway. Oh, my God. Let's go and get a couple of Solaros. I need to get my head together. I get your bone. But I'm going to box her in at the squash court and drop my price. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to me. Oh, I'm all right. Your airbag went off. Why didn't mine, Lynn? I can't move my head. It's just not going. Can oh, you see I'm no. trying? Calm oh. down, Lynn. It's just not moving. Hey, <laughs> calm down, Lynn. You're suffering from minor women's whiplash. <laughs> it's normal. Your airbag's deployed. Mine hasn't. Oh. You haven't got whiplash. I know I haven't got whiplash. Because my head was in contact with a headrest in the correct way, you were leaning forwards with your hand like that, crashing like a mouse. Like that. You all right? Oh, I... I've just got minor whiplash. Yeah, it was me that told her that. <laughs> but you need to take her to a hospital, Alan. Mm. I know. In fact, this has all put things in, in perspective so that I will. No. Come on. We always have this problem with Daily yeah. Motion. It's a joke of a website. It I'll is. Do the video for the same amount as last time you know, to help Lynn. Alan, I think you should be taking her to hospital. Well, this is not kicking off. We'll chat about that later. Yeah, oh, and, and by the way, this was probably caught on CCTV camera. So, and I will throw the footage in gratis. I know it's only a minor collision, but you can start off with a small one like this and then build to a big one with a huge lorry sliding along on its back for ages. Take my top off. I'm babbling. <laughs> All right, then. Bye-bye, okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. It goes on a bit. And see. It's weird, isn't it, this airbag? All that powder on your face. You look like a clown. <laughs> Don't <laughs> smile. You've broken your neck. Alan is a mess. He is, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I remember before a whole ETS thing, if someone was talking in that kind of accent, most Americans, us included, would think he's a relatively smart guy. But that's not the case. No. That stereotype has been broken yep. wide open. Yep. I, hey, I'm, I'm there with you, man. I'm yeah. right there with you. Mm -hmm. That's a frequent question we get is what have you learned about British culture is that accents like that don't always equal intelligence. Nope. Not at all. Exactly. Just trying to stall it so it doesn't oh, fall yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just crazy how this shit works. Oh, I've, yeah. I've run into the same problem. Come on, video. Catch up. Back Pump up. To load. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway. Oh, man. Here we are, then. Well, just make yourselves comfortable. Oh, that's the guy from I'll earlier. give you a shout when we're ready for you. If there's anything you need, just let me know, Helen. Or you, Mrs. Partridge. <laughs> there you go. She's not my wife. I hate it when that happens. Mm. Link, can you pop to the shops and get me two packets of Toffos? I heard you're in the building. Phil Wiley. We're at school together. Oh, yes, you're in my class. <laughs> Alison Partridge. No, Alan. no, Alison's what we used to call you. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> So, uh, what are you doing hanging around a school? A bit weird, isn't it? I don't know. I'm one of the big boys now. A prefect? <laughs> no, I, I teach here. Oh, right. Hey. I just remembered. Remember the day you caught me in that dark room snogging that lab assistant, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth were you doing there? Helloping photograph. Because <laughs> that's what it was for. <laughs> it was the, uh, the day that you got cane, do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. I got a chalk penis drawn on my back by some shit. I'd love to get my hands on him. That was me. I know it was. <laughs> yeah, but I really admire you, teachers. You're very heroic. To do what you do for such rubbish money. <laughs> tell me, just exactly how much do you teachers earn? You'd be surprised. I'm earning more than you think, Alan. I'm head of modern languages. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend. And I've got a wife. Is she older than you or younger than you? Well, if you must know, Alan, she's older than me. She's 52. My girlfriend's 33. I'm 47, she's 14 years younger than me. Back of the net. <laughs> well, if I can just put you in this room, I can get the kids. Just like to Don't draw a cock. Golly, that is me meeting someone from your high school that's doing better than you. Well, I guess meeting someone that used to bully you, I guess, would be interesting. Especially after all of it doesn't matter. But at the same time, it shaped who you are. So it's like, I don't know, I've never met a bully? I don't think I've ever had a bully. Ever? Mm -hmm. I never was the bully. I know where my bully is, and I, I know where I could find them. I just oh. haven't 
haven't yet. Which prison are they in? That's usually <laughs> the trajectory. Uh, I will not say on here. Cool. <laughs> Hi, kids. It's great to be back in my fine old school. Uh, I nearly sent my son Fernando here, but uh, I came into some money and was able to educate him privately. <laughs> you, you can't muck about when it comes to your own kids. <laughs> now, let me tell you a bit about myself. I present a military-based quiz show on a daytime digital channel called UK Conquest. <laughs> it's got eight thousand viewers. Let me put that in perspective. It's 11 times the population of Hemsby. Basically, terrestrial TV is a dead duck. And who watches a dead duck? Not even its mother. She just flies off depressed. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to show you an example now of the kind of sell-through video that I make. By the way, there are some strobe effects in this, so Hold at least on. any epileptics get out now. Oh no. Statistically, one of you is. And two of you are gay. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you are gay, please remember, rubber up. Mm -hmm. At your age, it's still illegal. You don't end up in prison. Because some of those guys don't care how old you are. <laughs> or if you're gay. Now, this was filmed two years ago. And just this <laughs> intro itself is just... It's fucking... Oh, just a plane crash, dude. I yeah. love this. Or a car crash where the airbag does not deploy. Oh, God. <laughs> I like how that was a thing. They had the little car crash. Her airbag deployed. His head just was like, how come mine did it? Why were you leaning like yeah, you were? I have correct posture. Get uh, the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. And I have let myself go a little. Crash! Bang! Wallet! What a video. Hi! Wow. How did he lose that much weight? Oh. This is what they were talking about, right? When he was spiraling. Yes, yeah, right? spiraling. Let himself okay. go. God damn. Right. He, he looks almost like he could be American. 100%. I've met this guy before, probably. I'm Alan Partridge, and I drive a car, but not like this. Let's have a look at what this idiot did in America. Thankfully, that man was plastic. You can stop giggling, or I'll take down your particulars. But what if he hadn't been plastic? What? love that oh uh, that's Crash. like that's like late night girls gone wild ads you know what i mean Walla bang what a video perfect you know what perfect demographic to show yeah perfect demographic to show that video to the car crashes and and where where have we seen that before of in our in our clips that was yeah. in our clips that was in our uh, first compilation of who is alan partridge Oh, I I got no it. It's still, still funny, which means doing compilations doesn't hurt the overall experience when we transition to full episodes, no. despite what y'all want to say. Well, you know, it's just it, because so much time has passed and because so much time has been sh crammed in that little slot that it's it's crazy that we would even remember that. And like, for instance, we also did a compilation of Peep Show and we still remember that. You don't a lot of stuff hasn't come back in to mean, memory what's that in between us right in between no we've done a peep show oh yeah no we have and i honestly can't remember one i can't yeah. remember one part of that compilation yeah. i've never tied compilation to that video right exactly <laughs> thank you for a very interesting talk it's all right are there any questions this guy he caned me for drawing a, a chalk penis on my back which I couldn't possibly do. But we'll be having coffee next door now. Right? Oh, sorry, it's impossible it's, it's for me to draw. Watch. Let's manage it, Alan. The, the, the one you did had more detail. There were, there were hairs at the base and a dotted line emanating from the crown. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you something about this guy. He got the lab assistant pregnant. He never sees the kid. Oh, my God. Back of that. Wow. What a train an wreck. Thing to say. You've placed me in a rather invidious position. Don't know that word. Carry on. <laughs> You leave the school again, and we're left with a detritus. Knock it off with the fancy words, mate. <laughs> Say it like it is. It went tits up. You speak like from the 19th century. <laughs> and you sweat. Well, I'd like to see you sweat over your work like I do over mine. I don't, because it's still corporal punishment. <laughs> see you in Strasbourg. <laughs> Tonight's show, we're talking about coffee. Oh, really? Apparently, they're opening a Starbucks on Beachy Head. Nice. Have a cup of coffee, admire the view, put a bit of spring in your step. <laughs> spring in your step's the last thing you need up on a cliff top. I mean, it's a suicide hotspot. Oh, my God. It's Starbucks. How are you going to kill yourself in Starbucks? A shotgun in your mouth. Oh, there's that teacher chap. 
Right, Michael, if he hits me, will you hit him first? No, he's a customer. I can't hit customers, I've been told. Uh, I'll go and get some stock. Chicken stock. Hello. Lynn, hand me the apple pie and remove yourself from the theatre of conflict. Watch me. Go and stand by the Yakults. The temperature inside this apple turnover <laughs> is 1,000 degrees. If I squeeze it, a jet of molten Bramley apple is going to squirt out. Could go your way, could go mine. Either way, one of us is going down. Alan, I've just come to make peace. What, you're not going to kick my head in? <laughs> no, I'm not. I just think we should shake hands. You've not got one of those... The electric uh... buzzer? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right, you. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> It's hotter than the sun. <laughs> I'm going to go now. No hard feelings, all right? Help yourself to a honeycomb Yorkie for the glove box. All right, I will. Take care. Of ah, that is not a penis. It's the best I could do. Tapers at the end. It looks like a mouse's head. That bloke's just told him. So open the door! Open it! According to Michael, there are enough supplies in here to last three weeks. <laughs> one a Mars bar? <laughs> Swivel. If you came in here for a Twix, I'd stick one in your eye, one in your ear and... One up your bum. But I'd have to break into another packet and I'm not prepared to do that. Right. I'd use a four-fingered one. I'd save one for myself at the end, having washed my hands. Having said that, I just remembered I've got a radio show to do, so uh, make friends and I can be on my way, please. <laughs> if you let me go, I will give you £200 in cash. <laughs> or, or, or check for 230 <laughs> So I imagine it's, it's a month's wages to someone like you? <laughs> Alan up for this. Yeah, it doesn't want to stun, man. All right, come on the run. Scene eight, take one. No. Oh my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What? I am so perplexed. <laughs> oh, come on the run is what they were pitching, right? Uh, yeah, that's why I love this show. It's so stupid. It's just absolutely wild, dude. It's not even predictable, and I like that. No. I like yeah. that about a show. So much cringe. Oh, very confusing, but I I, yeah. I admire I adm admire their dedication. And and that last scene, that's about how I would envision getting trying to make amends with your school bully. It would go. Anyway, I I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I don't have that story of school bullies. Very <laughs> very fortunate. You were fortunate. <laughs> and so pretty much, I don't know how what I would do. But anyway. and be thankful you don't need to figure that out because I don't even know. Because I feel like that's just a whole psychological hurdle you'd have to go through. But yeah. Whew. Anyway, y'all, anyway. <laughs> thanks for watching YouTube. There's someone around to subscribe and watch another video. Patreon, thank you for your patronage and keeping lights on. What should they do after this, Dan? Unplug and do something epic, guys. See y'all next time. Later.